Hi, welcome to a SimZenix video tutorial. It's another one of my basic exercises for the part design. A simple rod. I've made a drawing, so let's take a look at the drawing. Here it is, and you could make, of course, a screenshot and then follow this exercise step by step if you want. So, let's have fun with Siemens and X. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the right plane. I need two rectangles. One, two. I want these to be symmetric to that axis here. This one as well. And I need a dimension from this edge to that one here. And this should be 125. Now I want to go for 80. Okay. Now that distance here should be 45 and that distance here should be 17.5 so this should be 20 and this might be 80. Let's trim. So this should be removed. And I want to add a point which sits on this line and the distance from this line to that point should be 15. Finish that sketch. Let's make a symmetric extrude. And again make it 80. Then I want to add two edge blends, 50 millimeter on this edge and that edge. Okay. And a hole. A simple one, yes. Diameter should be 12 millimeter, yes. The point would be this one here. Direction is okay. Through body, that's okay. And confirm. Let's hide that sketch. Okay, now in order to get a second solid mirrored and rotated, there are many ways. I could do it with pattern feature or mirror feature. Anyway, I will get a second solid. So I could use pattern geometry or mirror geometry as well. Or I could do it just with one pattern. So I could mirror it and then rotate the second solid. Or I could do it with one pattern. So I want to do it with one pattern, one geometry pattern. So I want to pattern this one here, circular. And the vector would be, of course, the set axis, and that should be 0, 0, 0. Yes. And I want to have two instances, and the span angle should be 180 degrees. And I want to clock that one here, and I want to rotate it. So I go for user defined. And I can go for dynamic, or I could use angle and an axis. Yeah, maybe like that. And then give it 90 degrees. And the axis point would be 0, 0, 0, as usual. And confirm. And OK. Again, I got two solids. Just take a look. 
there are two solids. Let's go back. Now, let's combine them, make a unite, make this the target, that, sorry, I want to use that as target, and this one as tool. And I don't want to keep the target, and I don't want to keep the tool. Confirm. And now I want to go for a sketch on the X set plane. So go for another sketch on the front plane in this case. Okay, confirm. And I need a polygon, a hexagon. Let's go for polygon. And I need it to be six sided. Yes, the point should be this one here. And let's draw it like that maybe. Or like this, doesn't really matter. Close. I need a dimension. This should be 50. And it's already fully defined. Let's take a look. I will need a point here as well. So let's go for a point and put it right here at the end of that or start point. Okay, finish that sketch. And now I want to make an extrude. Should be symmetric. And I want to go for at least 125, so let's go for 140. And now I don't want to remove it, I want to intersect it with the already existing solid. And confirm. I need a plane. So I go for a datum plane parallel to the XY plane. Distance should be 70 millimeters and confirm. Now I can use that point and that plane to do a hole. So I go for a hole. Now I want to have a counterboard one. Hole diameter 16, seaboard diameter 30. And the seaboard limit should be that datum plane. The point should be this one. And a long vector, that's okay. That's this vector, yes. And I want not to go through body, but until selected, until this plane. It doesn't really matter. And confirm. Now let's hide that plane, hide that sketch. What's left to do? Just a mirror. So go for mirror feature, select that counterboard hole, select the plane, that would be this one here, and confirm. And I'm done. So I hope this was helpful, hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Twitter, Facebook and many more. Thanks for watching, see you to the next one, bye bye.